began speaking to us. Mungu alianza kunena nasi. And the Lord is reminding us the packages that we need to have even as we start this journey. Na Mungu anatukumbusha vitu ambavyo tunafaa kuwa nayo tukianza safari hii. And you know what? Na unajua nini? It is a continuation of a journey. Inamaanisha ni kuendelea kwa safari. Because last year, kwa sababu mwaka uliopita, it was overflowing mercy. Ilikuwa rehema ambayo inabubujika. And that overflowing mercy, na hiyo rehema ambayo inabubujika, its assignment to our lives. Ni jukumu lake. Ni jukumu lake kwa maisha yetu. Its assignment or lengo lake katika maisha yetu. Lengo lake katika maisha yetu was to bring forth things that were not possible by our own ability. Ilikuwa ni kuleta zile vitu ambazo hazingewezekana kwa mawazo yetu. The overflowing mercy was bringing qualification in areas that we were disqualified. Rehema ambayo inabubujika ilikuwa ikudhibitishe kwa kila mahali ambayo haungeweza. The overflowing mercy was the recommendation of the Lord for you. Rehema ambayo inabubujika ilikuwa kudhibitishwa kwako. Then the spirit of the Lord walked with us through the year. Roho mtakatifu ikatembea nasi kwa mwaka yote. Then but the mouth of the prophet of God in the house. Akupitia kinywa cha mtakazi wa Mungu. Then in the month of November and December the Lord brought divine speed. Kwa mwezi wa Novemba na Desemba Mungu akaleta divine speed. Amen. Amen. Now that Divine speed mwendo wa kazi wa kiungu Hiyo mwendo wa kazi wa kiungu brought us to a certain point Ikatuleta pahali fulani Now that point that divine speed brought us Hiyo pahali ambapo mwendo wa kazi wa kiungu ilituleta Because it was an acceleration that did not involve the hand of man Ilikuwa mwendo ambao haikuwa haikuhusu mkono wa binadamu It was God's way of pushing you to the top. Ilikuwa jinsi Mungu anaendelea na wewe. And it was God himself walking with you through process by process. Ilikuwa Mungu mwenyewe anatembea na wewe hatua kwa hatua. And God did something and brought us this far. Na Mungu akafanya jambo na akatuleta umbali huu. By the virtue that God did something in our lives and brought us to this point. Kwa jinsi Mungu alifanya kitu maishani mwetu na katuleta umbali huu. God was trying to open our eyes showing us that he is involved in activities of our lives. Mungu alikuwa anatufungua macho na kutuonyesha kwamba anahusika katika kila kitu kwa maisha yetu. Something that stood out during the divine speed that Divine speed is like a protocol breaker. Kitu moja ambayo ilikadha biti inamanisha kwamba kasi ya kiungu ilikuwa ya kuvunja protocol. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 So it is something that will it will make you pass people or things on the way without you putting any strength. Inamaanisha kwamba utakuwa unapita vitu katika njia bila kuweka nguvu mingi. And I believe na ina, na, na amini, some of us can attest. Wengine wetu wanaweza shuhudia that there are things they achieved within that short month that they can't explain. Kuna vitu ambazo walipata katika muda huo mfupi hawawezi eleza. And you know what? Na unajua nini? That was but like a test. Hiyo tu ilikuwa ni kama kuonjeshwa. Yes. Mungu alikuwa anatupea ladha. Mungu alikuwa anatupea ladha. And then he's giving us an appetite. Na anatupea tamaa. Amen. Amen. That we need to go deeper. Ya ku, kwamba tunafaa kuenda zaidi And then we need to search for something more. Na tunafaa kutafuta zaidi. Now where the Lord brought you? Pahali Mungu alikuleta. Right then it is your starting point. Hapo ndipo mwanzo wako. Amen. Amen. Irrespective of the achievement that you might have made. Haijalishi ni nini umepata. It is therefore your starting 
point. Hapo ndipo pahali pako pa kuanza. That is the point of your new beginning. Hapo ndipo pahali pako pa kuanza. That is the point of your new continuation. Hapo ndipo pahali pako pa kuendelea. That is the point of a new contact with God. Ni pahali pako pa uhusiano wako na Mungu. That is the point of a new contact with the divine. Ni pahali pako wa uhusiano ya kiungo. It is a point of a new contact of launching into the deep ni pale pako pa kuingia ndani zaidi it's a point where now god wants to begin revealing his new dimension to you pale pako ambapo mungu anataka kujionyesha njia zake kwako it's a point that now he wants to take you step by step showing you whom he is ni pale pake ambayo anataka akupeleke hatua kwa hatua akuonyeshe yeye ni nani that's why it is very key for us na ndipo sasa ni kitu cha maana kwetu that we need to have some packages with us kama kuna vitu tunafaa kuwa nazo one of the packages we should have is the word of god kitu moja ambacho tunafaa kuwa nayo ni neno la mungu and the word of god is very key brethren neno la mungu ni kitu cha maana sana ndugu do you know what unajua nini you and i wewe pamoja nami we are product of the word sisi ni matokeo ya neno la Mungu because without the word kwa sababu bila neno la Mungu you cannot be born again haunge okoka okoka mara nyingine the bible says biblia inasema in romans chapter 10 and verse 17 kwa rumi ya 10 aya ndogo 7 sura ya 7 uh, 17 thank you praise the lord amen i will try to be very much slow today thank you mm. So see you go back tomorrow is Pastor Austin eh and you remember we should we, sh- we shall be having sunesis technon so get ready <laughs> Praise the Lord Amen Hallelujah Amen. by the way our very apostle Paul is in the house let's clap our hands That's why me and Pastor Carol we are only doing rehearsal. I don't want to go into synesis, a technon, right? So get ready you'll get those ones tomorrow, eh? Koinonia and all those ones. <laughs> It's wonderful. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, you and I we are products of the word. Wewe pamoja nami ni matokeo ya neno la Mungu. And so I was saying Romans chapter 10 Nilikuwa nasema kwa Warumi 10 verses number 17 Sura ya 17 The Bible says Agano linasema Faith therefore comes by hearing Imani imani kwa hivyo inakuja kwa kusikia And hearing the word of God Na ni kwa kusikia neno la Mungu And in fact the amplified version says the word that comes from the lips of Christ amplified inasema kwamba ni neno ambazo zinatoka kwa kinywa cha Mungu now message version says message inasema that if the words of Christ is is not preached kwamba neno la Mungu lisipo ubiriwa then there is nothing to be listened to hakuna kitu cha kusikia Amen. Amen. That is what the message is saying. Hiyo ndiyo message inasema. It therefore means inamaanisha kwamba there is nothing that brings salvation. Hakuna kitu chochote ambacho kinaleta kuokoka unless the word of Christ is preached. Ila tu neno la Mungu linapohubiriwa. That's why I love the song that says. Ndipo sana napenda nyimbo ambayo inasema Yesu ameinuliwa mtazame kwamba Yesu ameinuliwa mtazame naye mkimtazama utapona amen praise the lord bwana asifiwe so what is happening here ni nini inatendeka hapa now the faith that brings salvation imani ambayo inaleta wokovu i want you to understand this word salvation nataka uelewe hili neno wokovu that word is the soso if i'm not wrong in neno ndiyo chanzo soso oh praise the lord don't worry praise the lord In Greek it is called soso. Kwa Greek inaitwa soso. Amen. Amen. Now, in that word it contains healing. Kwa hilo neno ina, iko na uponyaji. That word means deliverance. Hiyo neno inaonyesha kuwa kuwekwa huru. Same word salvation means being set free. 
wokovu pia inamaanisha kwamba kuna umewekwa huru that word salvation means being made prosperous inamaanisha kwamba kufanikishwa that word salvation means being delivered from the hand of the enemy inamaanisha pia kuokolewa katika mikono ya mwadui that word salvation means being preserved kept secure safe wokovu pia inamaanisha kwamba umewekwa ukazingirwa now therefore the bible says niposa gano linasema faith comes by hearing imani inakuja kwa kusikia and hearing the words that comes from the lips of christ akusikia maneno ambayo yanatoka kwa midomo ya kristo then it should come to my understanding inafaa kukuja kwa kuelewa kwangu that from the lips of christ kwamba kutoka kwa kinywa cha yesu comes the words of deliverance maneno yanakuja ya kuokolewa from the lips of christ kutoka kwa kinywa cha kristo comes the words of preserve vision inakuja maneno ya kuwekwa from the lips of christ kutoka kwa kinywa cha mfalme comes the words of security inakuja maneno ya kuwekwa ya usalama ya usalama from the lips of christ katika kinywa cha kristo comes the words of healing zinatoka maneno ya uponyaji now from the lips of christ kutoka kwa kinywa cha kristo comes the words of being born again inaleta maneno ya kuokolewa from the lips of christ kutoka kwa kinywa cha kristo comes the words of prosperity zinatoka maneno za kufanikiwa then it is upon the hearer inamaanisha ni juu yako wewe msikivu to know what he wants to pick from this package kujua ni nini anataka kuchukua katika hii because salvation is a package kwa sababu kuokoka ni ni package ni furusi ni furusi it is a complete package ni furusi ambayo imetimizika it is a package that comes with the healing ni furusi ambayo inakuja na uponyaji it is a package that comes with deliverance ni furusi ambayo inakuja na kukombolewa it is a package that comes with peace ni furusi ambayo inakuja na amani now it therefore depends the desire of your heart inamaanisha kwamba inalingana na kutamanio lako in 2024 katika mwaka wa 2024 some of us may not need faith for healing wengine wetu pengine hawatahitaji imani ili waponye because they are in divine health kwa sababu wako kwa uponyaji wa kiungu some of us may not need to hear about prosperity wengine wetu pengine hawatahitaji kusikia kufanikishwa because they are prosperous kwa sababu tayari wamefanikiwa but you know what na unajua nini what things so ever you shall hear and pick chochote ambacho utasikia na uchukue that is what shall bring salvation and to you hiyo ndio italeta kuokoka kwako but the bottom line is jambo kuu ni kwamba faith comes by hearing imani inakuja kwa kusikia kwako and it is hearing the word of christ ni kusikia neno la mungu and when you look on the poster ukiangalia bana the word of christ is saying this neno la mungu linasema when we begin from verses number 18 kianza kwa sura ya 18 the words that comes from the lips of christ is this maneno ambayo yanatoka kwa kinywa cha kristo ni come on now see another dimension of this ona njia ingine ya hii isaiah 43 verses 18 and 19 isaiah 43 aya ndogo 19 19 this is a prophetic message ili ujumbe wa kinabii showing the work that christ is coming to do inamaanisha inaonyesha matum vitu ambazo Mungu anakuja kufanya it is showing what Christ is coming to finish in the life of a man inaonyesha maneno Mungu anapenda anakuja kumaliza katika maisha ya binadamu now Christ is still seated Mungu bado ameketi but now the time is coming for him to be released wakati unakuja hey. yeye atoke atolewe hallelujah amen praise the lord hallelujah but now before god releases it kabla Mungu amwachilie then God comes and says Mungu anakuja na anasema I want to do something Nataka nifanye kitu That is so peculiar Ambayo ni jambo la kipekee I want to do something Nataka nifanye kitu That is beyond the explanation of man Ambayo ni zaidi ya kuelewa kwa binadamu I want to do something Nataka nifanye kitu That you cannot describe Ambayo hauwezi elezea But this thing I want to do 
I have taken it. And I have packaged it in Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have taken what I want to do. And I have packaged it in Christ. Come on, listen to me, church. Tonight is a different night. If you listen to what I want to tell you, then you will rise up from your sickness knowing that Christ has come with the signature Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 God wants to do something new. Listen to Isaiah 42. The Lord is speaking something here. Isaiah 42. Verses number 9. This is what the Bible says. Behold. The former things are come to pass. Listen. The former things are come to pass. Not that the former things will come to pass. The former things are come to pass. In other words, I am done with the past history. I am done with the past injustice. How was the injustice happened? Who praise the Lord? Amen. How did the injustice happen? Let us clap for Sister Mary Jorim. <laughs> Just do rehearsal. You'll come here and interpret you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Or you'll sit behind and say, Hey, honey, keep doing it. Honey, do it. You are well. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm longing such a day that when I will be preaching and I see Jacqueline say, Hey, come on, sweetheart, do it. It is what? Glory. Mm. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, how did the injustice happen? Nivipi injustice. Nivipi injustice ilifanyika. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, God said. Mungu alisema. Now let's go back to Genesis now. Turudi, then we wrap up. Turudi kule mwanzo. God created everything. Mungu aliumba kila kitu. And he saw that things were right. Na kaona kila kitu kikiwa sawa. After God had made everything. Wakati Mungu alimaliza kutengeneza kila kitu. Then something was missing. Kuna kitu ambacho kilikosa. Then it comes to Genesis chapter 1:26. Na kakuja kwa mwanzo moja 26. Then God says. Na Mungu anasema. Now let us make man in our own image katika sura yetu and after our own likeness na jinsi tulivyo and then god said na mungu anasema let them have dominion wacha wawe na utukufu let them increase wacha waongezeke let them multiply wacha waongezeke what is this ni nini hii god was speaking himself into man. Mungu alikuwa na nena juu yake kwa kwa binadamu. Hey, Kariobangi, I I am in another dimension. God was speaking himself into man. Mungu alikuwa anajinenea juu ya binadamu. In other words, God was telling man. Mungu alikuwa anambia binadamu. In my DNA. Katika damu yetu, I am a dominator. Mimi ni mwenye utukufu wa kutawala. In my blood system. Katika damu yangu, we are known for increase. Tumejulikana kwa kuongezeka. Stagnation is not our portion. Kukwama sio zaidi yangu. Come on, we are known for rulership. Nimetengenezwa wa kutawala. In our system. Katika damu yetu, leadership is our system. Uongozi uongozi ni upande wetu. So God is telling man. Mungu anaambia binadamu. In the heavenly host. Katika kibingu. God 
calls the heavenly host and they sit together God speaking to the Holy Ghost God speaking to the Son we have to step down and have our figure oh Ush. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us step down. Wacha tushuke chini. And I have our own. Na tukue kwa sisi. Amen. Amen. Then God said. Na Mungu anasema, we want to create man. Nataka tunataka kutengeneza binadamu. God bless you Pastor Austin. Ya wadongiri itenga toka au microphone ili wit yao. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, God is creating man. And then God is saying, Na Mungu anasema, Come on, let us come together. Wacha tuje pamoja. Let, let us make man. Na tumumbe in our own image. Kwa mfano wetu. And after our own likeness na hata kwa umbo wetu then god speaking to the deity na kwa hivyo mungu ananena na viungu and then god looks within himself na mungu anajitazama katika viungu vyake god realizes na basi mungu anatambua inside us ya kwamba ndani yetu we are dominators sisi ni wakutawala inside us ndani yetu we are meant for rulership sisi ni wale wa kutawala inside us ndani yetu we are meant for multiplication sisi ni wa kuongezeka we are meant for increase sisi ni wale wa kuongezeka so for us therefore to create man ili sisi basi tumumbe binadamu then we cannot create somebody atuwezi muumba mtu yeyote who has a lesser quality ambayo ako na man yale vitu vya chini who has a lesser capacity yule ambao kiwango yake ni ya chini who has a lesser ability yule ambao ana kiwango cha chini who has a lesser mentality yule ambao ni yake ni ya chini who has a lesser wisdom yule ambao marifa yake ni ndogo has a lesser knowledge yule ambao kujua kwake ni kidogo let us make man in our own image wacha tumumbe binadamu kwa mfano wetu let them have dominion na wache wakatawale let them increase wacha waongezeke let them multiply wacha waongezeke because when i see man kwa sababu ninapomuona binadamu i want to see my figure na in case i see man ikimtazama binadamu i want to see my replicate nataka nione umbo wangu i want to see myself nataka nijione if i am a dominator kama mimi ni wa kutawala then i want to see somebody who can dominate nataka nione yule ambaye anaweza tawala then the bible says kisha maandiko yanasema he took man akamchukua binadamu blessed man akamsababisha binadamu in the garden of eden akamweka kwa bustani ya eden his presence katika uwepo wake and so that means inamaanisha for you to operate ili ukaweze kuelenda pick this kariobangi chukua haya kariobangi for you to operate ili ukaenende for you to rule as i rule ili ukatawale jinsi ambavyo natawala for you to increase as i increase u ili ongezeke ninavyoongezeka for you to dominate as i dominate ili utawale I need you in my presence. And so God created man. Placed him in Gaden. Akamweka kwa bustani so that he stay in his presence. Ili akaweze kuishi kwa uwepo wake in the garden. Na hapo katika bustani Bible says. Maandiko yanasema two trees were there kulikuwa na miti miwili the tree of knowledge of good and evil kulikuwa na miti ya busara na maovu and the tree of life na kulikuwa na mti wa uzima then god told man na mungu akamwambia binadamu every tree here kila mti hapa you have a choice to eat uko na uchaguzi wa kula only one you should not ni mti tu mmoja ambao utakula for the day you shall eat it na wakati utakula kutoka kwake the same day you shall die siku hiyo basi utakula Then the serpent came. 
then cheat um, um, uh, uh, Eve na akamdanganya awa then he told Eve everything akamwambia awa kila kitu and Eve brought the idea na basi awa akachukua wazo hilo and he tested the fruit na akaonja tunda lile then immediately he she tested the fruit na hapo ghafla alipoonja tunda then it is recorded na imenakiliwa that they became naked wakawa uchi in other words panjia lingine the presence of god departed uwepo wa bwana ukatoweka the ability of god departed uwezo wa bwana ukatoweka the senses of god departed mawazo marifa ya mungu yakatoweka and the devil began ruling man kisha shetani akaanza kumtawala binadamu the bible says when you shall eat it unapokula you shall surely die hakika utakufa did they die je walikufa yes they died ndio walikufa they died spiritually wakafa kiroho the first death that came to man kifo ya kwanza ambayo ilikujia binadamu was the spiritual death ilikuwa ni kifo ya kiroho that spiritual death na hiyo kifo ya kiroho when you come to romans chapter 5 ukija kwa warumi 5 the bible says mandiko yanasema just like through one man sin kupitia dhambi ya mtu mmoja death ran into all men kifo ikatawala binadamu yote which kind of death ni kifo aina gani the spiritual death kifo ya kiroho let me tell you church acha niwaambieni kanisa man without christ yule mtu ambaye hana kristo he may be walking ingawaje anatembea but he is dead yeye amekufa what is spiritual death kifo ya kiroho ni nini spiritual death means kifo ya kiroho ina maana separation from god kutenganishwa na mungu when your spirit is separated from god wakati roho yako imetenganishwa na ya mungu then you are spiritually dead if you undive you umekufa kiroho praise the lord amen so something that was not expected kile kitu ambacho haikutarajiwa happened in the life of man ikatendeka maishani ya binadamu and man was separated from god binadamu akatawanywa na mungu but god being a good god na mungu kwa ajili utu yake ni mema god of a new beginning mungu wa mwanzo mpya he looked at how man was lost katazama jinsi binadamu walipotea because god kwa sababu mungu was so jealous over man alikuwa ana sana binadamu he loved man with total jealousy alimpenda binadamu kwa upendo kuu he could not live man like that angemwacha binadamu hivyo he came and do something akaja atende jambo god had to slaughter a ram mungu alimsababishe achinje kondoo he took the skin akachukua lile ngozi and covered man akamfunika binadamu a sign of a new beginning ile ishara ya mwanzo mpya that though you might have lost it ingawaje umepoteza but my love is still on you upendo wangu bado yuko kwako though you might have missed it pengine umekosa you might have reached a state umefika kiwango you don't want to hear anything about me god hautaki kusikia kitu chochote kuhusu mungu but myself god lakini mimi binafsi mungu you are creator mbaji wako even though you don't want to hear anything ingawaje utakusikia chochote about me kuniusu but wherever i am seated popote niketipo i'm still thinking about you bado ninakuwazia somebody might have gone through things pengine mtu amepitia mambo somebody might have done worst mistakes umefanya makosa makubwa and you think god is not thinking about you unafikiria mungu akuwazii i want to tell you tonight nataka nikwambie usiku wa leo god is still thinking about you mungu bado anakuwazia hallelujah amen if god kama mungu not just adam out forever hakumfukuza adamu milele he had to make a, a, a chance for him to be restored ili msababisha tengeneze nafasi arejeshwe how about you je wewe how about you je wewe that's why jesus said the apostle yesu anasema you are of no more value wewe ni wa thamana kuu more than all the grass of the land zaidi ya nyasi you are of more value wewe ni wa thamana than the birds of the air zaidi ya ndege ya ngani praise the lord amen so man lost it binadamu akapoteza and death came kifo ikaingia when death came mauti lipoingia they lost the identity of god wakapoteza tambulisho ya mungu they lost the nature of god wakapoteza utu ya mungu they went outside wakatoka nje they could not be identified with god hawangetambuliwa na mungu 
but now God who is after man glory to Jesus Hallelujah. he saw it Akaitazama. and he made a provision njia. for the restoration of man Kwa wa and that is why I am telling you when things were lost vitu vilipotea, when the character of God was lost utu wa mungu lipotea, when the nature of God was lost na utu wa mungu then God coming through Isaiah mungu Isaiah is prophesying to us He's speaking in Isaiah 42 Ananena kwa Isaiah 42 and verses number 9 Mstari ndogo 9 He's telling the church Anambia kanisa Behold tazama the former things are come to pass Ya kale yamepita The former things are come to pass Ya kale yamepita A new thing I do I declare Jambo jipya natangaza A new thing do I declare Jambo jipya ninatangaza Before the spring fall Kabla hijachipuka I tell you of them Ninawambieni kuyausu Hallelujah Hallelujah Before they appear Kabla hijatokea I am telling you of them Ninawambieni kuyausu When you look at verses number 10 Ukitazama mstari ndogo ku Then I say say Isaiah mnabia na say Why he is telling us before they appear Kwa nini natuambia kabla hijatendeka God is telling Isaiah Mungu anamwambia Isaiah before these things happen Kabla haya kutendeka I am telling you of them Ninawambieni kuyausu Why am I telling you of them Kwa nini nawambieni So that somebody in Kariobangi Kili moja Kariobangi So that somebody who is hearing us through online Yeyota na tusikia mtandaoni May sing unto the Lord Aweze kumwimbia Bwana A new song Wimbo mpia Why the new things are being said Ni kwa nini mambo mima pia anatangazwa God says them Mungu anayasema before they come forth kabla ijatokea so that you and I ili wewe pamoja na the prophets of God manabii wa Mungu may sing forth ili tuweze kuimba singing the new songs tukimba mimbo nyimbo mpya that God is doing ya kwamba Mungu anatenda that I want to do a new thing Nataka kutenda jambu jipia. But before it come forth, like ni kabla ija tokea, I'm showing you this thing. Nina waoneshe ni mambo haya. I'm not hiding it. Sia fichi. I'm showing you. Nina waonesha. So that you, ili nyingi, may sing forth. Mweze kuimba. May declare it. Muya tangaze. Bring it forth. Muya lete. Cause it to open. Muya sababishi ya fanyike. Create it to open. Muya tengenezi ya fanyike. What is happening here? Nini nina fanyika hapa? God is busy. Mungu anashugulika. He wants to do this thing. Anataka kutenda haya. But he has taken everything. Lakini hamechukua mambo yote. He has packaged it in Christ. Hameweka furusi mdani ya Christo. Now when he says I am doing a new thing. Kwa hivu anapu sema na tenda jambo jipia. That God is showing us. Kwa hivu mungu anatuonyesha. His plan of redemption. Mipango yake ya ukumbuzi. And God is telling us. Mungu anatuambia. This thing. Haya. I have taken it. Nimeachukua. I have packaged it. Nimeaweka furusi. In Christ. Katika Christo. In Christ. Katika Christo. This new beginning. He mwanzo mpia. Is in Christ. Ikondani ya Christo. This new beginning. He mwanzo mpia. Is in Christ. Ikondani ya Christo. If your eyes can open. Macho yako itakapo funguka. Last Sunday Pastor Ken said this. Jumapili liopita mchungaji Ken alisema. If you can see Christ clearly. Kama uneza mtazama Christo waziwazi. Then you can reach to what you desire. Uneza fikia yala mba unatamani. And I speak it to you tonight. Nina wanenea usiku wa leo. All the new beginning. Mambo mapia yote. Is packaged in Christ. Imewe kwa furusi ndani ya Christo. If you can see Christ clearly. Kama utamani. Zama tu Christo wazi wazi. Then you will rise up. Utainuka ju. You will stop asking for new beginning. Utaacha kuliza mwazo mpia. Now that one now is contradicting. Hiyo ni kama ileweki vizuri. If you see Christ clearly. Ukimtazama Christo wazi wazi. Then you stop asking for a new beginning. Utaacha kusema ju ya mwazo mpia. If you see Christ clearly. Ukimuona Christo wazi wazi. And discover where Christ is. Na ukumtazama. And know where Christ is seated. Then you will say. 
Thank you Father for answering my prayer because the new beginning I have been asking for church the new beginning I have been looking for is not far away from me that new beginning is inside me hallelujah hallelujah this new beginning is inside me this new beginning i am inside him second corinthians chapter number 5 verse 17 therefore if any man be in Christ he is a new creation the old is gone the new has come what are you looking for what you are looking for is inside you you need only to wake up in a style to amke and speak it out na uinene the mystery yale siri that has been hidden ambao yamefichwa is now revealed sasa imedhirishwa what is the mystery kwa hivyo siri hicho ni nini christ in you kristo ndani yako the hope of glory tumaini la utukufu christ in you kristo ndani yako the hope of glory tumaini la utukufu you might have missed your glory pengine umepoteza utukufu wako thank god asante kwa mungu christ is in you kristo yuko ndani yako that glory hiyo utukufu that you once lost ambao is restored imerejeshwa thank god asante kwa mungu your dignity ile nafsi yako heshima yako heshima yako that was lost ambao is restored back inarejeshwa if any man kama yeyote be in christ akundani ya christ is a new creation kiumbe kipya the old is gone ya kale yamepita the new has come mapya yameingia any man yeyote be in christ akiwa ndani ya christ a new creation kiumbe kipya the old has gone ya kale yamepita the new has come mapya yamekuja if any man kama yeyote be in christ awae ndani ya christ that man came into christ yule ambaye alikuja kwa christ when he had cancer alipokuwa na saratani but when that man wakati huo mtu found himself alijipata inside christ ya christo the life of christ ile maisha ya christo joy ile maisha joy so the god kind of life ile maisha ya kiungu that is in christ ambaye iko ndani ya christo when it meets cancer ikikutana na saratani that life of christ hiyo maisha ya christo it knocks the cancer inapiga teke cancer the new life in christ maisha mapya ndani ya christo it meets ikikutana foolishness ikikutana na upumbavu yema manyen mar kum christo maisha mapya ndani ya christo hiyo do paro matin ikipatana na wazo ndogo tongo yema manyen mar kum christo hiyo maisha mapya ndani ya christo it upgrades the mind inasababisha nia hallelujah amen therefore kwa hivyo if any man kama yeyote be in christ awae ndani ya christo he is a new creation kiumbe kipya you know what can you bange we need to rise on our feet inafaa tusimame miguu we need to shout inafaa tuchangilie i have it niko nayo i have it ninayo i have it ninayo i'm not waiting for it sitaraji i have it ninayo i have it ninayo i have it ninayo i have it ninayo let the sick say wacha wagonjwa wasi i have it ninayo let the poor say wacha maskini wasi i have it ninayo this what down say wale ambao wako chini i have it ninayo why kwa nini i am in christ iko ndani ya christ because i'm in christ kwa sababu niko kwa I am a new creation. The old is gone. The old is gone. The old is gone. Brothers and sisters. The old is gone. Come on, the old is gone. Let the weak say, I am strong. Because the strength I have is of a new creation that comes from Christ. Let the sick say, I am healed because the new creation is from Christ let those who are down say I can rise again because Christ in me the hope of glory 
kupata kario bangi kario bangi i have it ninayo i have it ninayo i have it ninayo you have it uko nayo you have it kunayo 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 you are a new creation wewe ni kiumbe you are a new creation wewe ni kiumbe you are not waiting hautarajii for a new beginning kwa mwanzo mpya you have it kunayo shila baya tala Lokosi mayande Librandosh kayanda I don't know what I've been waiting for Sijui nimetarajia nini I don't know Sijui God forgive me Mungu anisamee I prayed for a new beginning Nimeombea mwanzo mpya I've discovered it Nimeitambua I'm not waiting for it Sitaraji I'm not asking for it It is inside me. Ikundani yangu. It is inside me. Ikundani yangu. Hey Pastor Carol. Mchungaji Carol. You have been sleeping. Umekuwa umelala. With a new beginning in you. Na mwanzo mpya ndani yangu. Come on, carry your bangi. Carry your bangi. Every day when you wake up. Kila siku unapoamka. You wake up. Unaamka. With a new beginning. Na mwanzo mpya. The new beginning. Mwanzo mpya. Is waking you up. Inakuamsha. And is telling you. Inakuambia. It is a new morning. Ni It is a new morning. It is a new morning. Come on the new beginning. Is inside us. It is not outside. It is in me. Christ in me. Christ in me. Christ in me. Christ in me. The hope of glory. Christ in me. The hope of glory. It does not matter. What am I go through? Christ in me. Christ on He has the ability. Hakuna uwezo tena rao. Kugeuza every shame in me. Kila ibu ndani yangu. Because in him. Maana ndani yake is glory. Ni utukufu. It doesn't matter. Haichalishi. What am I experience? Ninachopitia. Christ in me. Christ on ndani yangu. The hope of glory. Tumaini la utukufu. Inside me. Ndani yangu is hope. Ni tumaini. Inside me. Ndani yangu is glory. Ni utukufu. Inside me. Dani yangu is a new thing. Inside me. Dani yangu new strength. Nguvu mpya inside me. Dani yangu new power. Nguvu mpya inside me. Dani yangu new grace. Neema mpya inside me. Dani yangu a new mercy. Neema mpya inside me. Dani yangu new favor. Kibali mpya inside me ndani yangu is favor ni kibali it 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 is favor ni kibali i'm not waiting sitaraji to be favored kukupewa kibali i have favor ninalo kibali i am not waiting singoje to have a new beginning kuna mwanzo mpya it is inside me ndani yangu christ in me christ ndani yangu hope of glory tumaini la utukufu sharadoshe Mm. Christ in me. Christ on ndani yangu. Christ in me. Christ on ndani yangu. Activate his power. I'm able fanya kazi. Activate his power. Sababisha nguvu yake. Just allow him to operate. Muache tu atende kazi. Just allow him to operate. Muache atende kazi. Just allow him to operate. Muache atende kazi. Allow him to operate. Muruhusu atende. Allow him to operate. Muruhusu atende. What we are waiting for? Yale ambayo tunangoja is inside us. Hiko ndani yetu. We have not known it for long. Hatujaijua kwa muda. It is inside us. Hiko ndani yetu. A new creation. Kiumbe kipya. In Christ. It's the new beginning. It's the new beginning. Because you're born again. You have a new beginning. Your story is gone. Your story is gone. Your failures are gone. The times of pain are gone. Times of depression are gone. Times of rejection are gone. No one is rejected in Christ. Because you are in Christ. So you came rejected. But the Bible says. In Christ Jesus. We have received. Our acceptance.
acceptability Kukubalika. we are accepted Kukubalika. in Christ Jesus Katika Christo. that is my new beginning mpia. though you came you did not have a name na jina. but in Christ ya you are given a new name jina but the mouth of the Lord but the mouth of the Lord has named you with Imekutaja. though you came that you are poor na maskini. but in Christ Jesus Christo ya the Bible says sema, we know the grace of God unema, that though he was very rich but for our sake he became poor maskini, and to be made rich in, in Christ Jesus in Christ Jesus in Christ Jesus in Christ Jesus the chains of poverty the chains of poverty were all broken in Christ Jesus I have no curse in Christ Jesus I have no curse because I know one thing he was made a curse for my sake that curses that was in me should be taken away I am not cursed I am not cursed I am not cursed I am the blessed one blessed in the Lord blessed in the Lord blessed in the Lord blessed in the Lord I am a new creation I am a new creation I am a new creation my dignity is back my dignity is back my glory is back my glory is back my glory is back my peace is back the days of crying is over because I am in Christ I am a new creation I am a new creation I have a new beginning I have a new beginning Christ is my new beginning Christ is my new beginning in the name of Jesus 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 arise in your spirit arise in your spirit know who you are know what you have received know, know it now get to know it now you are that new creation you have a new beginning